Evening. Thanks for joining us. Carrie is off tonight. Three years ago, Alan Schoenborn murdered his three young children. Tomorrow, the BC Review Board will reconsider its controversial decision, which allows the child killer into the community on escorted day trips. As CTV's Nafisa Kareem reports, public pressure is mounting to keep Schoenborn locked away. And our family is hurting. The last few weeks have been a nightmare for Stacy Galt's family. Her cousin is Darcy Clark, the mother of three children murdered by their father, Alan Schoenborn. Today, an outpouring of support and a show of strength. About 100 people rallied outside Coquitlam City Hall. They're united in their outrage over allowing Schoenborn into their community, especially after a doctor on the review board admitted he didn't know Clark lived nearby. If I went to Starbucks and sat down with my coffee and he was at the table next to me or he was swimming in the pool next to my children, I wouldn't like that. I'm a mother of three children and I don't want him hanging out where my 16-year-old goes to the mall. Not to mention the grief this woman has suffered. Clark wrote a statement which her cousin delivered in tears. Caitlin, Max and Corden were everything to me. They were what life was all about. I loved being their mother and I was and it was something I felt that I was good at. She really was. The family has started a petition calling for changes to the criminal code which would keep killers like Schoenborn in mental health facilities. I think that there is room for improvement. Politicians from all levels of government pledged to make changes. Those provisions were last updated in a significant way about 20 years ago. It was 1992. We will all work together to make sure that if we have to legislate common sense, we'll legislate common sense. The changes won't come soon enough for Galt and her family. Tomorrow, the BC Review Board will reconsider its decision to give Schoenborn day passes. Well, the hopes are that they're having this hearing for a reason because they've changed their mind. Nafisa Kareem, CTV News, Coquitlam.